Hi everyone, here is Abdul, hope everyone is doing fine today. So today we have another watch review from one of the watches of my collection. Could be a first impression, but I think also uh, maybe in a couple of months uh, I will review it again to tell you uh, what I think about the watch. So the watch today is the Raketa Copernicus. Really nice watch. As you can see, it's a, a Russian watch. Raketa is a Russian company, uh, which is uh, called Racket. Uh, means racket in, in, in English. Um, yeah, the watch is from the 80s to celebrate uh, the Russian mathematician and astronaut uh, Nikolaus uh, Kopernikos. So as you can see, the, the sundial, so the hour's hand is the sun or represents the sun. The minute hands represent the moon. Once a day they meet together and they create an eclipse. And you have the chapter ring, the, that's the earth in the middle. And uh, you have a lot of uh, elements like the grainy dial that uh, represent, I think, the surface of the moon and the our indices, markers, these golden dots represent the sun rays. So that's talking about the design. Raketa is a Russian watch uh, company. Uh, the company itself is from the 19, uh, from the 1700s, I think. And um, now they're owned by uh, an Englishman and a Frenchman, I guess. And uh, they have even a new Copernicus, uh, which looks pretty nice, but costs 1,200 euros. So this one is a bargain then. So it's a manual winding watch. And uh, yeah, I think it was 34 millimeters. Like, yeah, 34 millimeters, like, like 42. Oh no, yeah, 40. Let's check again. Sorry about that. 41.5 th or 42, I guess. Because this, this one, if you're buying a caliper, stick with a good one. I, I, bought, I have a good one, a German metal one, but the problem is it scratched the, the, the cases. So I got this plastic one, so I thought, yeah, I'll just buy the cheapest one. And uh, yeah, it wasn't the best uh, choice. So if you're buying one, don't cheap out on it. Just spend a couple of extra dollars, euros. So 18 millimeters uh, lug width. Nope. Yes, I said it's not that uh, precise. I tried to get some Russian stuff. This is a plane. It's not Russian. It's American. But I thought the aeronautic theme because the the Nikolaus uh, was a mathematician and an astronaut. I have Habib Nurmagomedov, Habib, uh, just uh, MMA fighter, pound for pound, the best fighter in the world, just retired. And we have uh, the Matrushka, the, the dolls, the Russian dolls. So anyways, yeah, I didn't show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Nomos. So I just put it on. I usually put it on. The best thing about this watch is it, that it's... Uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, silver color of the case, but at the same time it has a really nice color scheme, so it matches well with a lot of straps. As you can see, this one matches pretty nice with our hand. The watch comes. There are variants, a lot of variants of it, so you can find uh, a black PVD case, white dial. Um, the new ones you have even like uh, up the the earth in the middle, like the drawing of earth and around like uh, space uh, with the stars on it uh, so it's pretty cool um, these ones you can find them from around like 80 euros I guess if you want something that's working condition at least and, and running as well um, to maybe 200 euros if you're getting a new old stock with uh, all the bells and whistles so as you can see plays really well with the with the light, let me show you the hands while they're moving. So, oh, that's one of the things I didn't like about the watch. We're talking about later, as you can see. 
you can get the eclipse right about now you get them all at the same time so you get like an eclipse so you can see it runs smooth goes quite well really nice watch and uh, love the vintage feeding for it so it has an inco block system so shock protection and um, yeah i think it's it's not waterproof so don't try to get it near any water um i don't know if the new ones are waterproof but i guess they may be 30 meters or even 50 meters so washing your hands maximum what you would do and it's also uh, a dress watch so I, I don't think you would be wearing it when you're doing any kind of activities so i'll get the time grapher in and uh, put it on the time grapher and leave it for a couple of minutes to uh yeah to set uh, to see how accurate is the time see you in a second so what i will do is i will um, try to um, measure it in five directions so you know which direction i'm going to i'll leave habib on the table so you know here is face up and then a couple of minutes later i'll try it face down side to side and then i'll take an average and maybe uh, open it up and try to reduce that average so see you in a couple of minutes or for you see you directly after this <laughs> so as you can see the watch is running on uh, 18 1800 vibrations per hour stop and it's around 175 on this side so with this guy on the side and restart and then we leave it for a couple of minutes and then we come back and check on it so let's switch it to down on the face and give it a couple of minutes so performance is not getting any better so now for turning it on this side and uh, wait and see and then we'll open it up and uh, try to uh, regulate it as much as possible so as you can see the numbers are pretty high 175 100 uh, sorry yeah 175 70 211 so the watch as expected didn't perform well and uh, here we go back so I'll um, try to open it up, try to fix it, and uh, go back and see if I could get down this. It's, it's pretty bad, to be honest. 175, 70, 210, 200, so it's around 150, 170 seconds per day average, which is a bit too much. Um, so try to keep it down, then three minutes per day. I'll be good with one minute per day. So let's see. So I'll open up the case. I think we can open it right here. Yeah, perfect. It's already going to the minus so let's see if you move it in this direction what will happen so
it's still going way way up so let's take it back and push it to the other direction oh it's top the balance wheel Let's see, I pushed it way, way back. I'm just experimenting right now, to be honest. Um, let's see how it will work. It's not even working. So, it's going too slow. This might be actually a, a better topic for other video, because it's more like trial and error, trying to fix that accuracy as much as possible. Now it's not even reading. It does look pretty slow. Now it's faster. Now it's, there is a signal as well, it's still plus 200, so I know I had to stay a little bit longer to, to, to see it, but uh, as I said, I just want to, uh, to find the perfect balance. Anyways, it's going longer than I expected. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this kind of contact if you in content. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. Also leave a comment if you have any questions and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.